Recently, the West Indies won a thrilling test series in Bangladesh, and I've got with me someone who played a very important role in that win. We've seen him play international cricket for a while. In fact, he made his debut against India back in 2019, and we all remember the wickets he took against India. And we've seen his off-spin. We know he's a big hitter. So I'm very happy today that I'm joined by someone who has broken stereotypes to go and achieve. on the international level it is rakim conwall he's joining me from antigua i must say good evening rakim because it's morning here at the time of recording but it's evening over there i hope you're doing well and thank you so much for joining us here on me sports very yeah, good evening or good morning to you evening for what is 9 o'clock in the night here in antigua yeah and uh, rakim you know let us start with your journey because we we've seen Antigua produced many cricketing greats, and you know that legacy has been there on the island, a small island. But here in India, there is a fascination for the Caribbean and those islands that produce such players. So, growing up, you know how how much were you influenced by the legacy, and what inspired you to take the game, and how did you start by taking the game? Well, uh, it's good to have uh, such a Good legacy of legends around from Antigua. Um, I started playing at the Liberty Sports Club, where one of West Indies fast bowler really creates, which is Kenneth Benjamin. Um, I started there, then I move on to the Antigua national team. Then it just keep improving, go right up to the league there until I reach the West Indies level. And who are the players that you looked up to while growing up, and you know who really inspired you to play cricket and You know, try to be like them. Well, there was not much, but um, I had kind of Benjamin around. He was a big inspiration in my upcoming in terms of cricket. Um, and I have my uncle as well. So I feed off those two guys. Trust the process of these guys and putting in the work with these guys every day. Right. Uh, and can you tell us a bit about your uncle? You just mentioned him. Uh, you know what. what was his impact and how did it inspire because someone who's a part of family can really really help you in guiding you towards your dream well he always push me to the limit where he know that i can do better he always want me to do the right thing so where is practice is concerned he always be on me to be on time to make sure i'm doing the right thing that practice right and you know like for a while you know you were delivering a lot of consistent uh, performances in domestic cricket i remember first seeing you when there was antigua hawksville the earlier cpl team and you know used to walk up to bat up front uh, so how difficult was it to continue while you were delivering performances but you weren't quite able to break through to the highest level well, i get frustrated um i think Once I keep putting the performance, there is no doubt that I wouldn't make it on the international scene. I use the frustration and put it into a positive and keep performing. So I keep getting the performance to be consistent as possible. Um, and in the end of the day, I think I get that reward. So just for me to inter- um, enjoy my international career. I through that phase, you know what kept you going. Like you said, you turned that. Uh, into a positive energy it's never easy but how did you have that sort of belief that you will ultimately break it break in through uh, i think my teammates take me through a lot um playing for the liver and how we can i think we have a good group of guys um never a dull moment around them and they never let you to put your head down and think about a negative um so i think playing with these bunch of guys and then knowing that what i really want is playing international cricket gives me that motivation to keep pushing right and we've seen you make a mark as a bowler you know you uh, you have taken those five wicket hauls and we've seen you as a bowler but i remember watching you as a batsman in t20 cricket particularly you know coming up front and you can you can hit it a long way so how do you aim to take your batting forward in international cricket what are the areas that you are working on so that you know you can deliver for your team Yeah, I think I'm a capable batsman that can score runs in the low order. Um, I just have to give myself a chance. At the moment, I think I'm rushing it a bit too much. Um, I just think I have to give myself a chance and continue putting the work in the nets. 
and trust my ability and trust my skills and back myself to go in good runs on the field. And particularly in T20 cricket, you get the chance to bat higher up the order, and that is when you have been really aggressive when you've delivered. So, what is your strategy in T20 cricket? Because you do have the power to clear the ropes. Oh well, my strategy basically is what the team offered me to do. Um, I think I get a role in T20 cricket to go and have a very good power play, and I try to do that as my best ability for my team. Um, on the other hand, no, in Test cricket, you would have to spend time. You have to bat a lot of balls, and I just need to get switch back over to my natural batting rather than be rushing it in Test cricket. Right, and. You know, breaking into international cricket, you faced many challenges. You battled a lot of stereotypes, a lot of opinions. How tough was that phase? You know, battling and especially smashing those opinions because it's never easy coming into an international sports when there are so many people talking about you. Well, I I don't really tend to study the media or study the the negative part of it. Um, if I really pass across a message or two, I just try to blank it out. I know what I can do. I think the coaches and the backroom staff know what I can do. So these are the people that I have to trust and trust my ability, continue to put in the work and stay focused. And I think once I do that, the performance will come on the field and that will tell the the people that doubt in my ability or whatever, they, that performance will show them that I can do it. Exactly. And when you were doing it and just before you were to break in, who are the people who stood by you and what is the kind of motivation you got? Someone like a Kenny Benjamin or even your uncle for that matter. You know, what were they telling you so that you keep up on your path towards West Indies cricket? Yeah, they always message me day in, day out. Don't give up. Make sure you keep on doing the right things. You're on the right track. Your time will come. Um, I spend a lot of time talking to my Family, my father, my mother, they always keeping me in the right path, encouraging me, don't give up. Your time will come and nothing happened before it's time. So now it's finally here. I just think I just have to cherish that moment and enjoy it as long as possible. Yes, and you are enjoying it quite a bit. And recently we saw that in Bangladesh, there is that photo of you winning the Test Series. Your teammates have that kind of jubilation, that, that energy. You seem to be quite very quiet compared to some of your teammates but how important or how big was that moment in bangladesh because that winning that test series was not easy at all yeah it was it was a big moment for us um, i think leaving the caribbean no one give us a chance and the way how the guys stick together the way how the camaraderie in the team and everyone have everyone box in that team and it just incredible to see the way how the guys go there and pull off that victory and once you do those kind of stuff I think you should enjoy it because those things are really not easy at international level so once you did those kind of performance and have those kind of performance I think you should enjoy it. Absolutely and you know the 2018-19 season was when you were doing really well and there was a lot of talk about the fact that you should be in the West Indies side and you ultimately broke through when India were travelling. Can you talk us through that first series, you know, bowling to the likes of Pujara, Virat Kohli, Ajinkya Rahane, that Indian batting lineup, and also a little bit about your off-spin because you seem to have a very nice and easy-flowing action, very smooth. And can you describe your bowling and the stock deliveries that you have? Yeah, that was my debut series against India. I just wanted to start my international career goal, started on the right track. Um, getting to understand international cricket, speaking to a lot of experienced guys that already play international cricket. Um, I, I don't really overcomplicate things in terms of my bowling. I just keep it simple and whatever the conditions are, I just try to do my best of my ability to, to adapt to that conditions. And if it's spinning, I really try to spin the ball as hard as I can and just being consistent in one area. Yes, you spoke about keeping it simple and in T20 cricket, we see, because of T20 cricket, we've seen spinners especially come up with mystery deliveries and something else. Is there ever a temptation for you as an off-spinner to sort of try and do something like that or you're, you're very clear with your plans? 
Yeah, I'm very clear with my plans. Um, if I always want to add to my game, but I will add something to my game when I feel comfortable that I can really add something to my game and then see how it goes. But for now, I'm just keeping it simple and repeating the right things over and over for a long period. And you said that you know you will add something to your game if you feel uh, it is important at the moment. Do you think there is anything you'd want to work on on your off spin, or it's just the confidence that you want to power through? Well, it's more just the confidence. Um, I think as you keep growing in, in stature in international cricket, you will learn more about the cricket. And I think it's just more mind thing. Uh, once you more comfortable in your space and you just repeat the good things over and over. I think that will help you a long way. And then, you know, international cricket, you have good players with will scope you out, but you have to add something to your game. So somewhere down the line, I think I should I would add something because people will get to understand me more and more. So I always have to be on top of my game. Yes. And you know, you've now played a few test matches already. Are there any interactions you may have had with off spinners from the other side and Maybe you know you must have watched them from the dressing room and probably learned a bit. Uh, well, I I had one interaction with Ashwin once. Once India was in the Caribbean, um, but outside of that, no, I don't really have any interaction with other any other international off spinners. I watch a lot of videos of Nathan Lyon bowls and stuff and see what I can add from him to my game. But otherwise than that, I just try to repeat. Trust our bowling coach and try to repeat the the right things over and over. Exactly, and Rakim, now that you have overcome so much, you have made it to the highest level, and you are doing very well. You have delivered with crucial spells as well. How do you look at uh, the challenges that are ahead, and what will be your message to some youngster who sort of may be on a similar journey as you and going through possibly similar challenges? How would you motivate them? But the important thing is to love the game. Um, if you do love the game, don't give up. Always keep on practicing. Don't make nobody doubt your ability. You know what you can do. And just back yourself 100% all the time and believe in your ability and your strength. And just go there and do the job for you and your family. And a little bit on what uh, you expect, rather, from your journey ahead. Yeah, um, you just keep enjoying the moment. Um, continue to put in the work, continue to work hard. And whenever a challenge comes, try to overcome it and just keep going. Enjoy my international career for as long as possible. Rakim, this has been really good. I've really liked a lot of the things that you've said, especially about keeping for keeping forward, keeping moving ahead and trying to make the best of everything. It's been wonderful to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you.